Okay, let's have a look at Death Whisper the Lullaby by Opeth today. This is from their uh, Damnation album, uh, track number three. And it's in E standard tuning, so you need a clean guitar. Um, and you're gonna open with this intro <laughs> riff. So basically it's arpeggiated F sharp power chord. Um, then it's gonna switch to another shape. Uh, I don't really know what that chord that is, but basically you're gonna open with uh, this on this first shape. Then you're gonna switch to this other shape, three on the E and two, two and two. From bottom to top, right? And basically we're gonna repeat that over and over uh, throughout the whole intro and throughout the verse. Okay, so yeah, that'll be it for uh, yeah. Um, for the large part of the of the intro of the first part of the song. Um, after the verse, you're gonna do a, a different riff. Okay, so uh, for this, basically hold your fingers like this, right? So four on D and six on G. Um, keep your middle finger ready above the fifth fret on D. You're gonna need it later, and the same goes for uh, the pinky. Keep it ready to uh, put it on the seventh fret on top E string. Uh, but to begin with, only hold D and G strings uh, at fourth and sixth fret. And then you're gonna use the other strings as open strings. So right there, the first bar, right? In the second bar, slam on your other fingers on the fifth on D and seven on E, and go from D string all the way to the top. And you're gonna repeat those uh, four bars uh, twice, uh, okay? Then come to the chorus part, and here, uh, yeah, there are two guitars uh, playing different things. Uh, I tried to <laughs> dissect this <laughs> the best I could from live videos mostly, actually, because the recording is kind of hidden, the guitars are kind of hidden behind the wall of other sounds, so. Um, but I think the first part of the first guitar plays this. Okay, and you're gonna repeat that uh, one more time, right? For the chorus. So maybe a bit slower. The first two bars go like that. So five on E first, and then seven, seven on A and D. Then he kind of moves his finger up here to the ninth fret, the pinky. I mean, hit the ninth fret, slide up to ten. Then go back to a sixth fret on A with your index finger, and then hold this octave shape six A and eight on G. Mute the other strings. Uh, and I think he has played something like that. Okay, let's try to add some vibrator to this uh, octave. Um, and that'll be it for those two bars. Then the remaining two bars is octave shape uh, lick. I you can either hybrid pick it. Do strokes, but make sure to mute the the string in between the the fretted notes. Okay. Then uh, second line, you start almost the same as before, but then he 
Det börjar stå 8 notes at the end. Ja, 8 notes. Jag min 8 fret on G. 2 8 notes. Instead of 1, okay? So it's a bit of different ending here. And then the final two bars. Explain this, I'm pretty sure. So the first beat there uh, is a silent one, and then you just do pull off from 8 to 7, go to 10 on B, and hit 7 on E, and slide down to 5th. And then you're gonna play E as a pedal note, uh, and you're gonna hit 3 times, 5 and open E. Okay, I mean 5th fret on B and open E. Three times on that, then move one fret higher up on the B string and three times. And then move down to third fret on B and twice. Hit twice. And then hit twice on open B and E. Okay, so. So that's the f what one of the guitar is playing, I think. Um, and then Mike uh, is playing this part. Um, and again, I tried to decipher what he's playing from the live performance. So there might be some flaws here, but I think it sounds correct. <laughs> uh, I did my best, so. So that's the first uh, two bars. So um, one half note on open A. And then you're gonna do hammer on from second fret to fourth fret on G, and then slide up to fifth fret. So okay, and then quickly move your um, middle finger to sixth fret on A. And then you're gonna have just a bar across fifth fret. Well, it's not really a bar, but you kind of roll your finger there. So fifth on D, roll the finger on fifth on G, hammer on to seven. Slide up to 8, then D7 with your middle finger, and then, well, actually, you can hit it with your index finger, sorry, and then hit 8th fret on E with your middle finger. There you go. So, kind of like that. Then the next two bars. I think he explained this. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure how many times he hits the open A there, but uh, you can actually only hit it once and just play the melody on the D string without hitting the A string again. So, but anyway, we're gonna start with. Okay, that. And the rhythm for those first two chords is the same as the rhythm for. Um, uh, the first guitar on the previous uh, slide. So, you know, remember we played those octave shapes with the first guitar? And here we're gonna play this. Same rhythm, that's a quarter and a half note. But then you're gonna have eight notes all the way, which is, uh, which makes it simple, I think. So, uh, Okay, so the whole uh, four bars. And again, right, the second line is the same, basically. Okay. Um, so, what they do here at the very end of, um, of, uh, of each line here. Um, so you remember the first guitar, the very last bar played this. And we are playing this. You could put it together if you want. Um, so you're gonna start with... Uh, uh, well, you're gonna start with this chord, 5 and 5 on G and B, and open E. Then you have the minor triad shape here, 7 and 6 on G and B, and open E as well. Then move the same shape down to the 3rd fret basically and play 
this twice. And then you're gonna have open E minor chord on the top three strings, hit twice. Uh, so that's how it sounds if you, if you combine this, right? Uh, and throughout this whole thing you also have the A in the bass, I believe. So, um, you know, you could combine the two guitars, maybe play the first two bars from here. Maybe play, yeah, just combine part. And you know, if you want to combine everything into one guitar, so. Uh, okay. Then, side five, we have a post chorus chorus. And here, basically, we're gonna do a. Um, Second guitar plays something else uh, in the second line. I will get to that. But um, so basically, we have this minor uh, linear progression. I think it's called. You're gonna go from uh, the root together with the minor third. Okay, that's the same minor shape here. Then it's gonna go dramatically down on the D string. Then you're gonna end on this. Okay, so with the whole rhythm, three, four, yeah, something like that. Uh, it's kind of hard to hear exactly what he strikes uh, at what time, but yeah, something like that. Then the second line. Uh, okay, is this. Um, I the second guitar is playing kind of the same thing but with a little twist, so he goes from D here, but then he goes to Sus too, so he moves, or he lifts his middle finger on the E string. Okay, uh, I'm not sure why they play that, I think that's what they do anyway, but... So you can play either way, yeah, okay? And then slide 6, we we'll continue with those post-chorus stuff. Uh, so the first line is exactly the same idea as on the first line on the previous slide, but you're gonna be on the second fret instead, and you're gonna do... Yes, basically, right? Eh? And... Uh, yeah, and that's it, and the second line. I'm gonna have this. Um, and so basically you start with 555 five, five on the bottom of your strings and hammer on to 7 and 7 on A and D. This, right? And then you're gonna hit that whole chord two more times, um, roughly on the bottom four strings. Um, don't worry if you hit that all the strings, it's gonna be like a minor chord. It's okay. Uh, but I think they want to keep it a bit darker in the beginning, you know, only hitting the bottom strings. So that's what you're gonna do first. And then, kind of similar idea, but you're gonna so you start with five, 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 and but then you're gonna hammer on to six and seven on uh, A and D. I'm gonna have this more darker chord, and then you're also gonna play eighth fret on B, okay, and try to hit um, like the whole chord here um, after you do the hammer on. That'll be it <laughs> for the second line. And after this, you basically repeat slide one, second line, and all the way up to here. And one difference is that the second line with the summer on chords 
uh, you only play those uh, this line twice instead of four times. Um, one thing also that oh, I forgot to mention, but uh, the stuff that I wrote in parentheses, like in the first line and also in the first line on the previous slide, uh, you could play those notes as well, but I think this part is covered by bass and synth, possibly. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think they actually play those chords, but if you want to you know if you want to you know, add some bass notes to those chords, you can do that with just by adding the power chord on the bottom two strings. Okay, there we go. So now I said it. Um, and finally, slide seven, we have. Um, guitar so part just quite a straightforward so the first four bars basically you have a minor chord okay like this so a bit slower then Final two bars, uh, same rhythm uh, with the right hand. It's the same kind of swing rhythm. Like that. <laughs> so same rhythm, but you're gonna uh, play different chords. So you're gonna do this. So start with uh, this chord, 3 on A, and then open D, open G, 3rd, 3rd on B. Um, then you're gonna move the bass line, 3, 0, 1, on the first 3 strokes, so... Like this. And again, you don't have to hit all the strings with each stroke, you can you know, be flexible there, so... If you want to keep it a bit darker, just hit the bottom strings. Okay. And then in the second line, it's kind of the same idea, not really, but... <laughs> I'm gonna have this. So, the first uh, four chords are the same as in the previous uh, uh, riff. But then you're gonna end by landing on the this chord, third fret on E, right? Like so, so. And then you're gonna follow by this little bass melody. So gonna. Okay, so maybe one more time. Then repeat the whole thing and I'm gonna end on open D at the very end for three bars. So Okay, can I like that? Um, I hope I didn't screw up anything. Um, and that'll be it. Those are the, all the uh, riffs for this song. Uh, after that, you just repeat the intro and verse again. Uh, you are not going to play the post uh, verse riff, you know, the, that one here. Uh, they skip that part uh, in the repeat repetition. Uh, you just go from verse directly to chorus and then post chorus and finally the solo backing riff I mean that one that she was here you're gonna play it four times then at the very end of the song and that will be Death Whispered a Lullaby by Opeth have fun with that guys <laughs>